Hey Fit Friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Holly Every Newell, fitcoach.com. If you haven't been here before, um, I'm a registered dietitian, certified holistic nutritionist, and personal trainer, and I'm doing a little bit of an impromptu post today. Just gonna take you on a little walk with me because I saw something on Instagram today that kind of irritated me. There was a post by a pretty popular, I think she's a nutrition coach or health coach. I don't know if she has any certifications, um, but she posted this quick little reel that said, oats make you bloat, oats aren't good for you. And I had an immediate like dislike reaction to it because it's a very big claim. So I went to the comments or I went to her caption to see what it was all about. Like what's, what's, what is she saying about it? Let me understand a little bit more. She basically said that her clients have felt much better not eating oats, uh, that bloating has been reduced and various other symptoms, and that it uh, oats cause inflammation. Again, this is a very big claim because oats have been known to be good for us for a long, long time. There's a lot of research behind it for many, many different reasons, uh, and I've never seen anything about it causing inflammation. Not to say that it can't or doesn't, I just haven't seen the research behind it, so I was curious. I looked in her comments and a lot of people are thrown off wondering, well, what do we do now? Are oats bad for us? Should we not eat oats? And someone asked about kind of where's the research behind that? And she didn't provide any. She just said that it's the result. I interpreted that to mean it's anecdotal. Uh, there's not necessarily science, it's just that that's what's worked for her clients, which is great. Uh, maybe it's something that we can all try because if it's worked for them, maybe it can work for us, right? So not opposed to that in any way. And the problem with these kind of posts is there's so much of this stuff out there because everyone wants to be catchy and controversial and unique, but it's confusing. Um, if you see a post that oats aren't good for you, blanket statement for everyone, then what do you do? Because everything else you've heard is that they're good for you. So here's what I recommend for you. When you see big, bold claims like this, don't just accept it as truth or as science. Be a critical thinker um, because there's so much conflicting nutrition advice out there. And even within healthy foods, there are some foods that don't work well for some people for certain reasons and work great for other people for certain reasons. So the same could be true of oats. You have to take those things into consideration. My first thought is, okay, well, oats have a lot of fiber. So yes, they can cause bloating for people because it, fiber does that for a lot of people. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It may mean that you need enzymes. It may mean that you need a smaller portion of oatmeal. It may be something that you can't handle. Also, a lot of oats are not certified gluten-free, so it could be an issue where there's cross-contamination with gluten that causes problems for people. Also, I'm not sure what type of oats she's referring to. So is this all oats? Is this steel-cut oats? Is this the pre-made instant oats that you get from the grocery store that has tons of sugar and flavors mixed into it? Is that the reason that it's causing problems for people? So there's a lot of things to consider and then on top of that, I'm really curious, well, does it actually cause inflammation for people? Are there inflammatory markers in the body, <laughs> there's a B, um, that proving that oats cause inflammation? So those are the types of things that you should think about when you hear big claims about nutrition. So there's always new science, there's always ways that manufacturing is changing and farming is changing and all these things. So it's not to say that in two months or six months or six years, we're gonna find out that oats are terrible for us. It's totally possible. I just wanted to share that it's really important that we be critical about how we hear things, especially on social media. Maybe discuss it with your doctor or a nutritionist. Be cautious of who you consume information from and how you consume information. And even the best of people with the best of intentions can put bad information out there. I'm sure I've done it before. This will help reduce a lot of the confusion around health, around wellness, around what to eat. I'm constantly dealing with this confusion with my clients, so I think that's why it gets me a little bit fired up. But I hope this helps you 
in making better decisions for yourself if you don't have a coach or someone to guide you. And if you do want more support like this to answer these types of questions, this is what I do all the time with my clients, um, you can contact me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com and I'd be happy to give you a free consult to learn more about what I do and see how we might work together to help reduce confusion in your life um, and help you get to your health goals. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like. And until the next video, blessings on your health and fitness journey.